Hope you all can hear me. Am I audible? Oh my God. Is it audible? Yes, okay, fine. Yes. Good evening, all. Today we have the second, sorry, the third lecture from Animal Kingdom and my second lecture. Okay, and we are going to deal with Sealant Rita and um, Tina Fora. Okay, and yesterday I have given you some homework, but only Nila has posted the answer. I just came to notice that today morning only one has posted the answer and the answer sh should be made correct okay that's why i have not included that in this today's session so you all should cooperate in order for us to continue so if you are asking you all to post your homework all should do it right then of the soon after the class or later Okay, and now we have the second lecture of Animal Kingdom. Good evening, all. Welcome to this second lecture. So, and this is a schedule of the day 10 30 a.m. reproduction in organism for the 2021 batch, digestion and absorption at 4 15 p.m. for 2022 batch, Animal Kingdom at 4 15 p.m. for uh, 2022 batch exam. Combined. Okay, all these are 2022 topics, units and measurements and living world. Okay. Please give me a thumbs up if you are watching this and you are okay. You are able to follow. Come on fast. And do not forget to hit the like button. Do share it with your friends. And do not forget if you are not yet subscribed to our channel, subscribe it right now and do share it with your friends and leave a comment whenever you are asked to do so okay and now we have the phylum sealant rata starting today yes nila sujailanti uh, shivani Sa samiksha everyone okay fine so we are moving on to the second lecture from animal kingdom starting with phylum nidaria phylum nidaria is also known as what phylum sealant rata this is not going right. This taskbar. This way. Or else you won't see this radial symmetry, diploblastic, all those things. This way. Yeah, okay, fine. So, general characters of this phylum Nidaria. Grade of organization. We have discussed in case of porifera the level of organization as cellular level. Okay, cellular level of organization we have discussed in case of porifera. In case of Nidaria, it is tissue level of organization. In case of Nidaria, it is tissue level of organization. Okay, there is an aggregate of cell that perform a similar function specific function that is known as the tissue level of organization it is radially symmetrical diploblastic germ layer it is diploblastic diploblastic refers to there's two germ layers that is the endoderm and the ectoderm and the space between this endoderm and ectoderm is filled by the jelly-like substance called as mesoglia coelom 
it is acelomate animals they are acelomate animals that is there is no specific body cavity okay habitat and habitat they are aquatic mostly marine sessile or free swimming solitary or colonial solitary we have already explained the meaning that they can live alone and colonial they live in colonies so some are solitary and some are colonial okay uh, they are known as nidaria why they are known as nidaria because they have a specialized structure called nidoblast due to the presence of a structure called nidoblast okay guys please comment if you are here okay okay then that's all in this slide yeah digestive system in case of porifers there is no body system we have discussed that they are a uh, cellular level of organization there is no organ systems in case of nidarians same thing happens that is only tissue level of organization so incomplete digestive system okay that is intracellular and extracellular digestion occurs but the digestive system is still incomplete there is no respiratory and no circulatory system okay reproduction so in case of um, nigerians they have a sexual form and sexual form of reproduction the asexual form of reproduction is known as a sexual form is known as polyp and uh, and sexual form is known as medusa sexual form is medusa so polyp reproduces asexually and medusa reproduces sexually so it is a cycle polyp polyp asexually produces the uh, sexual uh, polyp asexually produces medusa and this medusa sexually produces polyp okay okay so these are the asexual form and sexual form so the asexual form is known as the polyp and the sexual form is known as medusa so most are separate sexes most are separate sexes external fertilization occurs and the development is indirect indirect development means that we have already said development indirect refers to they are a larval stage in between and they have a finger like projections if you look this also you can see certain finger like projections and these finger like projections are known as tentacles tentacles okay and the tentacles are 6 to 10 in number if you want you can note it they are 6 to 10 in number in case of nidarians okay and uh, they have two forms of life that is both sexual and asexual phase asexual phase uh, produces sexual uh, form and sexual phase reproduces to form the asexual form so this is known as the alternation of generation known as the metagenesis so we can say that they shows metagenesis that is alternation of generation okay is that clear if it is clear please give me hearts on the screen yes unique feature that is the tentacles with the nidoblast tentacles are finger like structures which surrounds the mouth of sealant rays it is used for very important function of tentacles food capture and uh, defense okay guys please wait a second spamming is occurring in our tenth standard group please wait please wait okay please please copy okay for the safe for the safety of our group members okay. just say nonsense 
please check that through also. very sorry Okay, please wait for my girl now. Okay, fine. So back to the topic. Very sorry, that's why I was a little bit disturbed now today. Okay, so the tentacles are the finger-like structures which surround the mouth of the cylindrates and they are used for cap food capture and defense. Nidoblasts or nidocytes are the stinging cells present on the tentacles and the body. So they are filled with the poison filled capsule known as nematocyst. Okay. Look, they are filled with poison uh, filled capsule known as nematocyst. And this nidoblast is used for anchorage, defense, and, ca and to capture prey. Uh, most probably, listen, bottle. The unique feature are very important. They have a gastrovascular cavity, also known as the Cilentron, cilentron, with an opening mouth on hypostome. So look, this structure is known as the hypostome. This structure is known as the hypostome. And it has an opening mouth. Okay. And this cavity is known as, this cavity is known as this cavity, the shared cavity. And this cavity is known as this gastrovascular cavity. Okay. Hope you are able to follow. Guys, if you are having any doubt with any of the topic you can comment it right now on the screen okay so we have discussed both there is a sexual form known as the polyp and sexual form known as medusa and this polyp the full form is then polypoid 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 okay in case of medusa it is medusoid Medizoid and polypoid. All this short form is polyp and medusa. Okay, so there are two body forms in Nidarians. So this alternation of generation we have discussed, and this alternation of generation is known as this metagenesis. Okay. Is that clear? Hope it's clear for you all. Okay. Adam, Sia, C, Anemone. Exactly. Yes. Oh, yeah. Examples were there. Okay. Fine. Adam, C is known as the C, Anemone. Yes. Correct.
ओके so alternation of generation or metagenesis it is a phenomenon shown by some nidarians in which this polyp produces medusa asexually and medusa form polyp sexually an example it is in case of obelia all these are examples and we will discuss it at last okay okay please wait i think there is an echo okay. and their skeleton the corals have skeleton made up of calcium carbonate all these are the unique features of this nidaria i will say explain it soon soon after finishing this slide please wait okay the skeleton is made up of calcium carbonate all these are different uh, corals so these are the examples of uh, Nidaria, Hydra, Obelia, Physalia, Adamsia, Penetula, Gorgonia, Neandrina. All these are the examples of what this uh, Nidaria. So now you should focus something extra. So this examples uh, Obelia. Obelia is also known as. Obelia is also known as sea fur. Sea fur. Sea fur. Faisalia, Portuguese man of war. Very important. Thank you. Thank you, Sidelanti. Adam Sia, it is a sea animal that you itself have said it. Okay. Penetula, it is the sea pen. C pen. If you need more examples, please comment. I have it. Gorgonia is the C fan. C fan. It's Gorgonia. You told that Adamsia is known as the C anemone. And one more thing, that is the Metridium. Oh, very sorry. I'm not able to write today. Please wait. If all these are new, please comment. Okay. So, uh, Adamsia, sea anemone, and Metridium. Very sorry to be slow, but if you want to know the spelling, I should write slow. Okay. Metridium, it's also known as sea anemone. Okay. Aurelia, is it here? Yeah, write it. Aurelia is the jellyfish. Aurelia is the jellyfish. And uh, then, yeah, Meandrina brain coral. It's given here. Then, yeah, this much is there. This is necessary for you. Dead man's thing. Yeah, later we will discuss for that in out of NCRT. So if it is new, please comment it right now. Grades of organization, tissue level, symmetry, radial symmetry, diploblastic germ layer, coelom, acelomate, aquatic, that is they are mostly marine, some are sessile, some are free living, some are solitary and some are colonial. Incomplete digestive system, no respiratory system, no circulatory system, reproduction, polyp reproduces asexually and medusa sexually. Most are separate sexes, external fertilization and development is indirect. Okay. Unique features, tentacles with nidoblast, a gastrovascular cavity with an opening mouth on hypostom, polyp and medusa forms, that is, they show alternation of generation. They show alternation of generation known as metagenesis. Corals have skeleton, that is CaCO3, that is a calcium carbonate. Examples, Hydra, Obelia, Aurelia, Physalia, Adamsia, Penutula, Gorgonia, and Meandrina. Okay. Oh, only Nidaria is there.
please wait guys let me check whether it is there or not oh my god what all is happening Please wait. Yes. I think it was not yet prepared. Let me check it whether full yeah. So okay. So phylum Tenophora, that's the next after phylum Nidaria or Cilentrata. So Tenophora, also known as what? That is the uh, phylum, including the comb jellies and the sea walnut. That's the example that we will learn. And these Tenophora, it is exclusively marine and they are the transparent organism. Okay, tissue level of organization in case of Tenophora and they are known as a transparent organism. Okay, very important. And they are also known as the sea walnut or comb jellies. Symmetry, it's radial symmetry. Okay, radial symmetry. Diploblastic layer of germ layer. Diploblastic germ layer, that is two germinal layers. Okay. Then, um, azelomate. There is no body cavity. Habitant habitat. Exclusively marine, solitary and pelagic. So these are exclusively marine and they have a gastro get do have a gastrovascular cavity okay digestive system is incomplete intracellular and extracellular digestion take place no respiratory system that is it has a tissue level of organization therefore there is no respiratory system and no circulatory system okay even incomplete digestive system Reproduction is only sexual form. It is a hermaphrodite. That's a bisexual organism, bisexual phylum. Okay. External fertilization occurs and indirect development. That's a lateral stage in between. Okay. Very important. Sexes are not separate and sexual reproduction only in case of Tenophora. Uh, locomotion is by eight vertical. External rows of ciliated complete. So the complete, look, these are the complete. And there are eight rows of complete, eight external vertical rows of this complete. Okay. And the, it is the locomotory organ. Tentacles are also present. Tentacles are also present. So look, this is the complete. You can see. Then they show a phenomenon or a property known as bioluminescence. They show a property known as bioluminescence. Okay. That is, they emit light from the body. They still emit light. Okay. That is known as this uh, bioluminescent. And in case of the tenophora, in case of the tenophora, it shows the larval stage. We known as, it we show, told that it shows the larval stage known as, larva is known as cidipid. Cidipid. Cidipid is the larvae of this tenophora. Okay. Is this clear till now? Clear till now? Come in fast. None are responding. Yes, okay, Shivani. So these are the examples, Pleurobrachia, Pleurobrachia and Tenoplana. These are the examples of the organisms uh, included under Tenophora. And this uh, 
these two organisms show bioluminescence as well. Okay, this is the overall summary. Take a screenshot. Take a screenshot and post it in the group. Fast. Okay, take a screenshot and post it in the group. I'm just changing it. And that's all we haven't prepared our Slido today. Sorry, Menti today. There is no Menti quiz today. And that's all for today. Okay. Nidaria and Tinofora is over. And yesterday we have asked one more question rather than the excretory or excretory cell. We asked one more question that is uh, the count of species of this sponges. Count of species of this sponges and it is 5,000 about approximately 5,500 species. Okay. 5,500 species. I think today's class was not uh, much interesting as yesterday's one. I feel so. Okay. Fine. So then Uh, before that, what we can say, I will discuss something. Okay. So, hope you all are here. If you all are here, please put a thumbs up. Everyone who all are here, please put a thumbs up. So, we can discuss something else. So yesterday we have discussed the three types of larvae of this sponges. Yes, only Nila is here. All others, where have you went? It's on my screen. It's showing eight watching now. Yes, technical Tamil and today Landi. Okay, others Shivani and some others Sonali, Samiksha. Then who else? Yeah, all these persons, where are you all? Yes, Shivani, okay, fine. So the three types of larvae of these sponges we have discussed. Comment it right now. What are the three types of larvae yesterday we have discussed? One is Celoblastula. Second one we have discussed Parenchymula. Yes, Rujana. And third one, we have discussed the amphiblastula. Guys, whether you know or don't know, you can comment yes or no. Nana is watching you or not. Okay. No issues with that. So these are the three larvae of this sponges. So yesterday when we discussed the minty quiz, we show that the classification. Okay. So now we can discuss that classification of sponges. Till 5, I will take it. Okay. Till 5 o'clock. classification of the sponges yes nila parenchymula celoblastula and amphiblastula these are the three types of larvae and the classification the sponges can be classified into three the sponges can be classified into three okay anyone knows its classification yesterday we have discussed one of that yesterday we have discussed one of that that is, yesterday we have discussed the demospongiae. No need of typing the entire thing. Just give an outline. If it is demospongiae, for example, in case of demospongiae, you can just write demo. Balance, I will complete it. Parent, chimula, amphi, blastula. Just write parent, amphi, because blastula is there. 
ओके सो डीमोस पहुंचिए ख्याल के लिए गाइस एवरीवन प्लीज कमेंट वाचिंग दोस हु आर वाचिंग हियर प्लीज बी एक्टिव ओके द लास्ट वन इज द हैलो स्पोंजी हैलो स्पोंजी ओके इज दैट क्लियर डीमो स्पोंजी कैलकेरियन हैलो स्पोंजी सो द डीमो स्पोंजी इज द लार्जेस्ट क्लास largest class okay this is the largest class calcarea it is a limy sponge it is also known as limy sponge oh my god limy sponge and hyalo spongy it is also known as a glass sponge okay okay technical damage and shivani fine then so these is the this is the classification of this sponges and there are different examples or different sponges coming under this that we will discuss later okay that we will discuss later then what else what else what else We will just begin with this platy helminths. Okay, just begin. But next class also we will start it. We will uh, what officially begin it. So this uh, phylum platy helminths it comprises of this flatworm, also known as flatworms, or comprises of this flatworms. Okay, is it okay? Are you able to follow, or we want to end this session now? I'll we'll start this platy helminths in the next class. And the species count is twenty thousand. If you want to end, we will end it now. No issues. Twenty thousand species, and we have discussed that the cellular level in in case of porifers, tissue level in case of the other one, what? Nido, nidarian, and tinophora. And in case of platy helminths, the organ level starts. The organ level of organization starts in case of this platy helminths. Okay, and they have an unsegmented body. Their body is unsegmented. Unsegmented. There is no segments in their body. Okay, they are acetylomate. There is no body cavity. And excretory organ flame cells. All these you have learned in your lower classes. Okay, so let's wind up this session today, or else most of you will not be interested. So that's all for today. If you are not in like the video, like it right now. Do share it with your friends and do subscribe our YouTube channel Biopoint. See in the world of bio. and i think no need of any homework today no need with that and you have two exams today okay at 7 pm and 9 pm i feel like i think so uh then poem sheet is given already living world and units and measurements of the topics those who have not printed the oim sheet those who have not printed the oim sheet you can just write as what i how i should wait please wait the instructions are given to me right now that's why there is a lag okay so you can write as number 1 the option a b c or d for example it's d right 1 d 2 Answer three. I think twenty twenty students might know because cumulative tests were there, right? In case of twenty twenty students, cumulative tests were uh, what given for twenty twenty batch and 
like this. If you are not printed the OMR, you can write. But the other batch, 2021 and 2022, you have not yet used the OMR. Please try to take a printout of this. Okay. And you should send to us as PDF itself. Okay. Then only we will be able to correct it. So send as PDF itself. Clear with that? This was the schedule. Reproduction of uh, what? Right at 7 p.m. we have units and measurements and 9 p.m. living well. So score well. Uh, stay, uh, study equally with equal weightage for physics and chemistry along with biology. Okay. And that's all for today. Yes, Pradeepa. Were you there from the beginning? Because I have seen your comment now only. Yes, technical Tamlian. Shivani, Nila, everyone. Thank uh, what very thank you for watching this patiently. And then how to make it as PDF. There are different apps. I think uh, Cam scanner is banned in India, right? Wait, doc scanner or tap scanner, something is there. Let me search and I will inform you. Okay, I'll post it in the group. I think tap scanner is best one of the other alternative. Okay. Uh, some of them don't have this cam scanner, technical thumbnail. That's well. Most of them, some of them have uninstalled when it is banned in India. Okay, then.